red line on this particular graphic represents the uh, typical behavior of the average company, meaning that they're patenting maybe about two years out into the future from now on this timeline. And uh, it also represents that they're hanging on to a lot of patents, that, uh, which represents the uh, essentially the all the way up to the top of the green bar, you know, um, and the red line uh, in the past that are maybe not of value anymore. And those are all costing money because they all have maintenance fees attached with them or they may be still in prosecution. So there's, there's cost involved with hanging on to patents. You have to pay taxes on those patents. So what this slide represents is that we're going to get rid of uh, this, the green portion uh, of, of, of each year's uh, patent count. And this is a patent count that we're looking at here. And we're going to save that budget. And what we're going to do is we're going to move that effort, that budget, we're going to put it into patenting in the future by having brainstorming sessions. And that represents the blue uh, segments out into the future that are going past the normal uh, uh, essentially uh, horizon, which is you know maybe now plus two years. We're going to go out now plus three years, four years, five years, and six years in terms of what could be possible in the future. And uh, often that's like, okay, we know today the speed of the internet is you know X. We know that five years from now it's going to be 10X. What's going to be possible in five years that we're not even thinking about right now because it's completely infeasible? And now we're going to be thinking about inventions that will become feasible five years from now, um, or perhaps they'll become feasible because the cost of a wireless chip will be two cents. And uh, so let's think about the world where everything can have a chip in it. So these are the types of questions you ask yourself for the future that many times you don't bother asking at all because that's really of not much concern from a practical standpoint for business because uh, you, you can't do anything with it or you can't, you're predicting the future, it may not even come true. But from a patenting perspective, they can be the, the you know, extremely valuable patents if you can actually predict the future accurately and patent in the future.